What is up friends and YouTube and welcome back to the channel and this right here is the OnePlus Nord CE review. Now do note this video was shot during the unboxing and initial impressions phase whenever I test the product which was back in July and I'm going to be giving you some insights based on my review on the things you'd have to consider should you consider this as your next smartphone in 2021. With that said, let's do this. All right, so this is the OnePlus Nord CE, also known as the Core Edition. And by definition, when you say Core, generally means the backbone of a product. So this means there will be some elements that may not be present or is present, but generally you have a working smartphone or a formula to play around with. Think of it as a OnePlus guinea pig, if you will. Taking the lid off, we get to have a first look at the device itself with some elements being shown in terms of the features that the CE intends to highlight, such as the in-display fingerprint sensor, dual SIM support, and an NFC chip. Of course, we have the welcome packet that contains the frosted Nord inspired jelly case, which is one of the best in the market in terms of free cases because of its thick build in nature, as well as the frosted finish towards the back, giving you that level of grip. It also comes with the OnePlus SIM injector tool, a Nord thank you card, as well as a quick start guide and some safety documentations in using the device. Next, we have the iconic OnePlus USB-C to USB type A charging cable with a red accent, which I personally think should have been the same color as a Nord for branding purposes. So the red accent cable isn't really visually appealing, at least for me. And lastly, we have the warp charger in the box that can hit 100% in just less than one hour, pretty much the same as any OnePlus device released over the past few years. Now, I honestly can't stress the fact that a smartphone priced below $400 to $500 comes with a charger. Take note, Apple, Samsung, and any other brand wanting to save the planet by not giving consumers a charger. And of course, the device itself. Now, the OnePlus Nord CE comes in three color variants, which in this case is the Blue Void. And in my honest opinion, this actually resembles the OnePlus 7T Pro in late 2019, and there is the charcoal ink and the silver ray. Now, although the body of the Nord CE is predominantly made out of plastic, the feel in hand is pretty durable and sturdy, and the best part is, it's lightweight. In front, we have a 6.43 inch screen with a pre-installed screen protector, which is always nice, and we also get a first look with a punch hole camera located at the upper left corner. Personally, I like this as opposed to my Galaxy S21, with that being smack in its top center. Towards the right is the power button, sadly no alert slider unlike the recently released least one plus nine volume rockers on the left next to the sim card tray that houses two nano sim cards capable of 5g connectivity a secondary microphone up top and down below we have a type c port speaker grills and a headphone jack the one plus nord core edition comes with a triple camera configuration that comes with a 64 megapixel primary lens an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel depth sensor with an led flash capable of shooting up to 4k at 30 frames per second which is similarly designed like previous one plus devices so here's a little size comparison with the one plus nine now in my honest opinion Opinion, the OnePlus 9 holds the perfect balance for a smartphone. One of the best feeling smartphones in the hand in my opinion, but of course it comes at a price. Side by side, you can tell that the Nord Core Edition virtually holds the same dimensions, almost identical in terms of size, with the OnePlus 9. But in terms of weight, it's an easy victory for those wanting a lighter device as opposed to the OnePlus 9, which is a lot heavier than the Nord Core Edition. Now in terms of the display, the OnePlus Nord Core Edition comes with a 6.43 inch fluid AMOLED display that supports a 90Hz refresh rate, which is still a welcome feature better than the standard 60 hertz in my honest opinion this should be considered as a base refresh rate moving forward for all brands in the budget department it packs in a 1080 by 2400 resolution with a 20 by 9 aspect ratio a pixel density of 4 to 10 ppi making videos on youtube really shine in all that hd glory which in my opinion is one of the highlights of the nord core edition this of course comes with stellar viewing angles and because this is an ammo display you also get those rich and punchy colors with deeper blacks which really does help in enjoying the display on the nord for addition. Now in terms of gaming, the OnePlus Nord Core Edition does come with a brand new Snapdragon 750G processor paired with 6, 8, or 12 gigabytes of RAM and the Adreno 619 GPU which basically translates to this device being a mid-range device. It's not the lower end mid-range, something in the middle, but despite being in that category, gaming is pretty amazing with very minimal lag with Asphalt 9, as well as being able to enjoy that rich HD content with Mortal Kombat. Now obviously Mortal Kombat isn't as crisp as opposed to playing this on a flagship device, but despite Despite that, it still performs just like a flagship and without any heating issues to which I think is the best incentive, allowing you to play games for longer periods of time. <music> 
Now in terms of photography, although the OnePlus Nord Core Edition does come equipped with a mid-range specification, it actually delivered amazing results during my testing. Here are a few samples taken with the OnePlus Nord CE. In terms of price, the OnePlus Nord Core Edition is valued at 16,990 pesos for the base model and 19,990 pesos for the top of the line model that comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM along with 256 gigabytes of storage, both of which are officially available through Digital Walker. And if you're particular with getting a smartphone that comes with an official warranty, Digital Walker is your only option to consider. So in a nutshell, the OnePlus Nord CE is probably not the first pick for most consumers since there are rival brands in the market that brings more to the table in terms of cost. However, like myself who loves Android devices in general, no other Android Android smartphone comes close to the likes of OnePlus, mainly because of the software that it comes with. Because of the intense amount of software optimization they do with their smartphones, regardless of the configuration, each device that OnePlus spits out not only feels like a flagship, but performs just like a flagship. Check the links below if you're considering this as your next smartphone in 2021, and do let me know in the comments of your thoughts with the OnePlus Nord CE, and the full specifications in the description down below. And that's pretty much it for my review of the OnePlus Nord CE. Thanks again for watching, especially those in the Philippines. Your support is very much appreciated as well as everybody else around the world. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't for more tech reviews and unboxing videos. This is Chris once again from Crisis Point and I'll catch you in the next.